Hi everyone warm welcome to my channel I am Manu V today I am going to discuss a very important topic balance of payment Let me start with the definition of balance of payment. A country normally records its international transactions in order to know its international economic position. These transactions are recorded in balance of payment statement. So, it's a systematic record of all economic transactions between the residents of a country and the rest of the world in a given period of time usually one year in other words the balance of payment of a country is a systematic record of all the economic transactions between its residents and non residents and the balance of payments includes not only the value of goods exported and imported that is visible items but invisible items and capital transactions are also recorded and economic transactions in balance of payment economic transactions which are recorded in balance of payment include visible items invisible items unilateral transfers and capital transfers first visible items it means all types of physical goods imported and exported and invisible items it refers to all type of services which are exported and imported these include services like insurance banking shipping consultancy and investment income like interest profits dividend and royalties and the unilateral transfers it includes gifts personal remittances and other one way transactions it is also known as unrequited transfers because these transactions do not involve any claim for repayment next capital transfers items consisting of capital receipts through borrowing or sale of assets and capital payments that is capital repayments or purchase of assets are known as capital transfers these transfers involve transfer of asset and liabilities next structure of balance of payment we know that the balance of payment of a country is constructed on the principle of double entry bookkeeping that means each transaction is entered on the credit and debit side of the balance sheet when a payment is received from foreign country it is a credit transaction while payment to a foreign country is a debit transaction first balance of payment credit transaction or credit or receipt the credit items in the balance of payment are capable to bring foreign currencies into the country simply all inflows or sources of foreign exchange are recorded in the credit side the major items shown on the credit side are export of goods and services transfer receipts in the form of gifts grants from foreigners borrowing from abroad investment by foreigners in the country recovery of old loans inflow of private remittances next balance of payment debit side or payment side the debit items are led to the outflow of foreign currency from the country the major items on the debit side includes import of goods and services transfer payments to foreigners as gifts grants etc and lending to foreign countries investment by residents to foreign countries repayment of old loans 
എൻ ആർ ഐ ഡിപ്പോസിറ്റ്സ് വിത്ത് ഇന്ത്യൻ ബാങ്ക്സ് ആൻഡ് ദീസ് ക്രെഡിറ്റ് ആൻഡ് ഡെബിറ്റ് ഐറ്റംസ് ആർ ഷോൺ വേർട്ടിക്കലി ഇൻ ദി ബാലൻസ് ഓഫ് പേയ്മെൻറ്റ് അക്കൗണ്ട് ഓഫ് എ കൺട്രി അക്കോർഡിംഗ് ടു ദ പ്രിൻസിപ്പിൾ ഓഫ് ഡബിൾ എൻട്രി ബുക്ക് കീപ്പിംഗ് ആൻഡ് ദ ഹൊറിസോണ്ടലി they are divided into four categories current account capital account official settlement account and errors and omissions now you can see the horizontal division of balance of payment and its major components first current account the current account of a country consists of all transactions relating to trade in goods and services and unilateral transfers during a given period of time and the major components of current account first export and import of visible items that is current account includes export and import of visible items or goods like wheat rice machines etc and the difference between export and import of visible goods is called balance of trade bot and bot is equal to vx minus vm where vx is equal to value of goods exported and vm is equal to value of goods imported if value of export of goods is less than value of import of goods then we can say that balance of trade is deficit if value of export of goods is greater than value of import of goods then we can say that balance of trade is surplus next export and import of invisible items current account also includes export and import of invisible items or services like shipping insurance banking etc and unilateral transfers these are transfers between residents and non residents these can be private as well as public which include gifts donations etc or official transfers including donations grants in cash etc and income receipts and payments to and from abroad it includes factor incomes in the form of interest rent profit etc next capital account the capital account of the country consists of its transaction in financial assets in the form of short term and long term lending and borrowings and private and official investments in other words capital account shows international flow of loans and investments and represents a change in the country's foreign asset and liabilities and components of capital account the main components of capital account are first one borrowing and lending to and from abroad investment to and from abroad change in foreign exchange reserves here the foreign exchange reserves are the financial assets of the government held in the central bank a change in the reserves serves as the financing item in india's balance of payment next official settlement account the official settlement account is in fact a part of the capital account but the uk and the us balance of payment accounts show it as a separate account it shows the changes in reserves which are held in the form of foreign currencies like dollar pound etc and even sdr special drawing rights it shows transactions in a country's net official reserve assets last one errors and omissions this involves all such errors which occur due to statistical discrepancies or any item which was not recorded in the current or capital accounts next autonomous and accommodating items of balance of payment first autonomous items of balance of payment 
Autonomous item of balance of payment refers to international economic transactions which are made independent of the state of balance of payment with a view to earn profit. For example, if an MNC is making foreign direct investment in our country with a view to earn profit, then this transaction will not be affected by the state of balance of payment. That is, it will not be dependent on the fact that balance of payment is in surplus or in deficit. Autonomous items are also called above the line items. The main autonomous items are exports and imports of goods, exports and imports of services, unilateral transactions, capital transactions. And these transactions can either be recorded in current or capital account depending on their nature. And next, accommodating items of balance of payment. Accommodating items refers to those transactions which are taken up by the government in order to correct balance of payment imbalance. These transactions are based on the state of balance of payment and not carried out for profit motive. Accommodating items are also called below the line items and all the items related to the monetary transfers correcting balance of payments disequilibrium are accommodating items. And the main accommodating items are borrowings from IMF or other international financial institutions and foreign exchange reserve. These transactions are only recorded in capital account. Next, difference between autonomous and accommodating items of balance of payment. Autonomous items are those transactions which are done in consideration of profit while accommodating items are done in order to correct BOP imbalance. Autonomous items involves transfer of goods and services from country while accommodating items involves movement of official reserves. Next, situation of balance of payment. Here we can say that if export is greater than import, then we have favorable or surplus balance of payment. And if export is less than import, then we have unfavorable or deficit balance of payment. And if export is equal to import, then balance of payment is in equilibrium. And disequilibrium in balance of payment. Balance of payment is always in balance, but only in accounting sense. In general, balance of payment is said to be in disequilibrium when there is either deficit or surplus. First, balance of payment deficit. It refers to a situation when payments of a country on account of autonomous items exceed receipts of the country on account of these transactions. Simply, receipt is less than expenditure. And balance of payment surplus. It refers to a situation when payments of a country on account of autonomous items are less than the receipts of the country on account of these transactions. Simply, receipt is greater than expenditure. Next, causes of disequilibrium in balance of payment. A deficit in balance of payment is the major cause of concern and the major causes are first economic factors. First one, inflation. Changes in price and cost structure of a country's export industries affect the volume of export and the balance of payment position. Increase in price due to higher wages. Higher prices of raw materials makes export costlier and results in deficit in balance of payments. And next, expenditure on developing relations. 
newly independent countries in order to develop relations with the other countries have to spend huge amount of money on ambassadors missions etc this has adverse relation on balance of payments and fall in demand when the demand for the country goods falls in the foreign market export reduces and results in adverse balance of payment and import services underdeveloped countries import capital and other services from developed countries this results in deficit in balance of payment and social factors first one demonstration effect people of underdeveloped countries imitate the consumption pattern of the people of developed countries leading to an increase in the level of imports this increases results in a deficit balance in the balance of payment account and change in taste preferences fashion and trends an unfavorable changes in taste and preferences of consumers towards domestic goods lead to a deficit in the balance of payment account and last political factors political instability of a country has an adverse effect on balance of payment of a country further partition on unification of a country also affects the balance of payment of a country next effects of disequilibrium in balance of payment some of the effects of a deficit in bop account are it reduces the foreign exchange reserves of a country it slows the pace of economic development of the country a country's economic credibility is hampered increased the dependence on international lenders like imf and world bank leads to currency crisis outflow of foreign capital and a regular disequilibrium in balance of payments leads to degrading of economy internationally disequilibrium in balance of payments can be corrected by various methods like promoting exports reducing imports depreciation devaluation and exchange control etc next measures to correct deficit in balance of payment devaluation depreciation exchange control tight or dear monetary policy contractionary fiscal measures and uh, export promotion for bring more foreign exchange and import restriction to prevent outflow of foreign exchange next measures to correct the surplus in balance of payment most of the nations are happy with the balance of payment surplus because receipts are greater than the payments however the persistent balance of payment surplus is not the common feature of the modern world the important measures to regulate the balance of payment surplus are revaluation appreciation relaxation in the exchange control cheap or soft monetary policies expansionary fiscal measures import promotion and export restriction for fall in inflow of foreign exchange happy learning folks thank you